The interactive whiteboard is your friend. When you go into a classroom, it will tell you what you're doing wrong. Um, <laughs> it's, it's strange like that. But um, when, I was, when I first started teaching with, the, uh, with a projector, I used to do this quite a lot. Um, and students used to say to me, sir, I can't see the board, I can't see the board. Um, at this point, um, there's an obvious answer to that. If you can't see the board, chances are your students can't see the board. And the projector's trying to tell you that, so the, um, the interactive whiteboard's on your side. Listen to what it's saying. If at any point you find yourself doing variations of disco dancing, um, you can do that with Whitney, actually, it works a bit better. Um, she'll be turning in her grave now, won't she? Um, yeah, if you find yourself doing variations of disco dancing and, um, or going onto your knees, which I've also seen, that also works, um, or, um, or uh, what's the other one? The limbo. If you, do, if you find yourself doing any of these, stop. You look silly. Your students will think you look completely unprofessional. Just a little tip, when you come up to the board, Stand to the side of the board. It's perfectly okay to do this. Um, you're only getting your finger in the way, everyone can still see the board. The other thing you can do is you can find yourself squinting a lot. If you find yourself squinting a lot, move out of the way. Because the board's telling you again, move out of the way. Listen to what it's got to say. Move out of the way when it tells you to move out of the way. These uh, first generations of boards are uh, a single touch. So if I touch over here and Ashley touches over here, the board kind of works out the average and goes through the middle. At the moment, um, like I say, all first generation boards are a single touch. So um, that's going to be a bit of a problem. The newer boards um, are multi-touch, so it brings up a whole new range of activities. The students can come in and everyone can throw things around and you can have chaos. Um, but these, um, these first generation boards are single touch. Another thing that I often notice is people doing this. Listen, I'm still touching the board. When you touch the board, you need to treat it a little bit like, yes, it's mainly females, a little bit like your husband. Thank you very much. Um, you need to, when you come to the board, you, um, you need to make sure that you tell it exactly what you want it to do. <laughs> if you touch the board and uh, you decide um, that you want to move, I've got, I should probably move a man here, shouldn't I? If you decide that David needs to get himself over there, you need to poke David right in the eye and pull him over. Um, for poker, you need to poker as hard as possible and, um, and move across. A good interactive whiteboard user, by the end of the session, should have a flat finger. Um, because if you don't, the board gets confused. If you touch it really lightly, the board doesn't actually know what you're doing. So whenever you come on the board, I want to hear this. And then I want to hear this. Because people can be very delicate with a board. But it doesn't, it doesn't like, like, you know, husbands. It doesn't really like to be treated like that. It does kind of want to be poked, prodded, and told exactly what to do. So uh, to do bear that in mind, when you come to the board next time, I want you to poke it, prod it, and tell it exactly what to do.